What's up guys? Welcome to your seventh Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do in this in this tutorial is basically set up our linear layout for our first application that we're going to build. Uh, it's not going to be too pretty or too complex, but uh, it'll get you guys familiar with the XML again. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete this text view, the second text view, and basically what this application is going to be is adding and subtracting to a number according to which button is pressed. So we're going to add some buttons and we're going to also change some other things within this text view. Now the first thing I want you guys to do is change our linear layout back to vertical. Just because horizontal freaks me out. So there we go. And now what we want is, uh, oh there's no title be from the last tutorial. We're going to change our text to something like your total is and then zero. Something like that and then save it and we're gonna check that out that looks pretty good but that text is pretty small so let's see what we can do about that again within our text setup part uh, we can say Android if you spell it right and then colon and you can see some of the methods that we can use there's quite a few for a text view and there's one called text size so we're gonna select that one and what you can do is set up like 45 pixels and it's a little bit bigger so that's cool, but the thing is, we don't want to use pixels because, because, like I said before, different Android phones have different resolution for their screen, and some have a pretty high resolution, which will make 45 pixels really small. So we're going to kind of use a ratio by using the density pixels. So this is going to keep it kind of consens consistent. Uh, oops, I'm sorry, DP for density pixels. That's going to keep it kind of consistent for all the devices that we're going to be working with because it's going to be sized according to the density. Now, as you can see, it's uh, big text. Looks pretty nice. But now what we want to do is kind of center this text. So we can say, let's see if we have any methods for that. We can do, or actually, uh, this one's not very self explanatory unless you guys do other programming. We're going to say Android Layout Gravity. And again, another nice thing about Eclipse is if you guys forget what you want to set this equal to, you can just delete that and hit equal, and it'll pull up some choices for you, such as center. So we're going to click center, and then check that out. So it centers our layout, or centers our text view. And since our text view wraps the content, it's, going to, it's basically going to center our text as well. But let's say our text is fill parent, or our text width, I should say, I'm sorry, fill parent and let's see how that looks. Now, as you can see it's sent, what it's doing is it's centering basically our our parameters or our uh, size of our layout for the text view and since the text view takes up the whole screen it's not really centering the text because all the center method does is center that layout or the gravity of the layout. So now what we can do is actually just center the text within whatever our text size is. So we can also do a method called, and this is just to show you guys some more methods. You could have just done the wrap content and the layout gravity equal to center, but you can also do Android gravity instead of layout gravity and set that equal to center as well. And that'll center our text within whatever our width and height is that we set for a text view. So there you go. Just kind of give you guys an idea of some methods that you can use on a text view. The other thing we want for application is basically to add two buttons to it. So what we, we're, how are we going to add a button? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Again, thanks to Eclipse, we can hit the greater than sign, and it gives us a lot of choices that we can choose from, such as a text view. But we're going to look for one called a button. Pretty awesome. It's right there. Now we need to set up what this button is going to do. So we're just going to say Android layout width. And we're going to say something like, uh, we can also do 250 DP for density pixels. And Android layout height, we're going to have it wrap the content context. So hopefully you guys are kind of getting familiar with, uh, with XML, even though it's brand new to you, to a lot of you guys. But at least I hope you know what's going on here for the most part even though we just started with this so we're just setting up some ID or some stuff for the button and again we're gonna set a text for the button we're gonna say add one 
So let's see how that looks. And I don't really like using that type of method, so I'm just going to hit it or close it like that. So that looks kind of strange. Not exactly what we want um, because the height, I'm sorry, that was supposed to be wrap content. Again, this will just wrap the content of our text. So let's check that out. Looks pretty good. We might want to center it as well, so we're just going to say uh, Android layout gravity equals center. And also, we might want to change the text size up just to kind of get you guys familiar with the methods that we have used so far. We're probably going to change this one to like maybe 20 dp. See how that looks? Looks pretty good. And now what we're going to do is copy this button and paste it down there again within our linear layout. And all we're going to do is say subtract one. Sorry if I'm going fast. I mean, hopefully you guys pick up on this. For the most part, XML is pretty easy. And once you guys start with it and work with it a little bit, you'll be like, why did I ever struggle with that? Because it's pretty simple and it's not too bad. But basically, you guys can copy this code. I'll leave the screen right here. But the only other thing we need to do is we need to have a reference. Because when we start working in Java, that's where we're going to let these buttons and this text view actually do something. So we need to set up a reference so we can refer to it in Java instead of XML. So what we're going to do is set up an, something called an ID. We're going to set this equal to, within quotations, at plus ID basically saying we're setting up an ID uh, because when I told you the at m means a reference of some sort we're setting up a reference that's why we have the plus at plus ID and then we're gonna set this to TV for text view and we're gonna call this one display because this is the one that's being displayed or the only text view for the most part Then we're also gonna set up a couple references for each button so I'm gonna just copy this and paste it within our button and change it to button for or B and then we're going to call this one B add button add and then uh, we're going to set up a reference for the subtract as well this is just something I like to do so I know it's a button so B sub for B subtract and there we go we basically have our linear layout set up for a first little application we built and hopefully you guys kind of understand XML a little bit better now and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial